What's up everybody, today I'm going to be showing you all how you can play Minecraft by using mods and shaders at the same time. Let's get started with the video. So first of all, make sure that you have Minecraft downloaded, like you download Minecraft Launcher uh, or you would buy Minecraft Java Edition or you would get the Xbox Game Pass which I have. So as soon as you have Minecraft downloaded, the Java Edition, you could uh, direct yourself to the description in the video and I did put four links which I have here which I all opened up so as soon as you have them all opened up I would prefer that you download Java so if you're using 64-bit which I'm using you could just scroll down and as soon as you see download Java go click on it and it will automatically download after that just click open file and it'll you'll go through a download process which is easy yeah and as soon as you have that as you can see as I have it right here configure job then it then you're that you know that you have it so after you have Java you could direct yourself to Optifine so I'm just refresh this page so you will get a page like this Optifine. So as you can see here, they have the latest Minecraft version. But for example, if you want to use a different version, as for which I'm using for this video, 1.18.2, just click here, show all versions. As soon as you click that, as you can see, scroll down, there are all the types of versions which you can download. So for me, I'm looking for the 18.2 one here, as you can see here. So as soon as you did that, just click here, download just wait right after that this is just the uh, advertisement so just go to the top right and you'll see here please wait two seconds, one second. as soon as it's done just click skip and then just click download one more time and then you're ready to go see as soon as I have it ready so as soon as you have that just drag it to your desktop then you're finished so up to find down Java done so now it's on the forge so as you click forge forge is for the minecraft mods so you should if for the specific mod you want to use you must make sure the version of the mod for the minecraft version so if for example i'm going to be using 1.18 just click at the plus sign near the recent version so i'm using 18.2 click that as soon as you have 18.2 you click the installer you, you can choose either one but just click like for example this one installer it's going to be the same thing just wait five seconds for the ad then you can skip so right after that just click skip boom downloaded as, as, as you can see i already have it so as soon as it's downloaded just drag it to your desktop so forge finished so for the mod i'm gonna be i want to download the weather mod weather 2 so since you click this link it's going to bring you to this page so just scroll down so you can 18.2 i'm going to be using the 18.2 just scroll 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 as soon as you see this here 18.2 so just click from server 1 and then just click download the jar file as you can see downloading then drag it to your desktop so as you can see you have everything in the desktop I'm just gonna close this here I already I have forge and my other things in the files so as you downloaded all the forge up to find blah 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 now it's the process of putting the files in the minecraft folder so if you want to get access to the minecraft folder just go to your search bar so i'm using your windows 11 go to the search bar click here and type run then you click run and you'll see here here so you're going to be type in percent app data percent click ok as soon as you have that as you can see it's going to bring you to this page here so you're going to be searching for dot minecraft which is here so double click that and you have everything so the 
file you're going to be looking for is mods. So as soon as you have Optifine, you must have shader packs. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go to the mods folder. So if you don't have a mods folder, just click anywhere, right click, click new folder and name it mods with M-O-D-S, all small letters. As soon as you did that, go click on mods, make it small, then you're going to be dragging your mods in here. So what you're going to do, first of all, for the forge, as soon as you have it downloaded, you need to double click it, wait, and you're going to see this. So you have to click install client, click OK, and it's going to do a process, it's going to download and it's going to say successfully done. As soon as you did that, you know that you're on the right track. Because when you open Minecraft, the first thing you can see is Forge 18.2. So as soon as you have that downloaded, Put that in so yeah download it so as you can see i just have the weather 2 so the weather 2 will need coral util and weather 2 i'm going to drag that in here for the mods then optifine as, as you have the optifine your desktop you need to drag that in your mods folder to make sure you have to drag in your mods folder right after that Let's just check if it works. So what you would do, open Minecraft Launcher, and then we just have to wait. So it's gonna be loading, then put in all your details and everything, your account, and then we'll check it out. So right after you loaded the Minecraft Launcher and Java, you should automatically have Forge and Optifine. It would have automatically downloaded it onto Minecraft. If not, you would go to installations, new installation, you can name it whatever and then just search forge and click it, create and download and then you, you're ready to go. So right after that, as we all know, we shouldn't choose Optifine because it will only have shaders because since we put the shader packs in the mods folder, we're going to have the mods and the shaders, which is what we want. So we would start the program and wait for Minecraft to load. For first time users, it's going to take some time to load. It will download 500 megabytes, but then after that, it'll be all okay. So all right, Minecraft is loading right now. Alright, so now Minecraft successfully loaded. So we have Forge and we have five mods loaded. The weather mod and Forge, which is perfect. Everything's working. Even the mods folder here, it's really good. So we would go, let's create a world. Um, let's make it creative, peaceful, allow cheats so you can modify the cheats or add new, like the mods. You know, if you want to change the mod type yeah so just allow that and then create a new world as you can see minecraft successfully loaded and we have the shaders and as you can see we do have clouds for the weather mod so everything's working quite well fps is stable so as we can check we do have the shaders and if you want to add more shaders you would draw drag it to the sh shader folders and then yeah you see i have intel xc graphics is it isn't the best but it is okay so that's why i have all to increase the fps we would do the render distance and simulation to the least or to at the bare minimum like seven eight so for example five to ten that would be okay so but everything's working fine it's not laggy it's stable and we got the weather mod as we can check let's just check uh, we do have the weather 
everything which is perfect so as you can see everything is working having mods with shaders is really cool so guys just comment below if you want me to make a video on how to get a furniture mod so everyone before i end off the video i am going to provide you also with the link to the shader pack as you can see bsl shaders i think it's one of the best but the one i'm using is this one the version 8.2.01 this i think this is specifically as you can see it, it does show 1.19 but really it is good it doesn't have any problems so a lot of people did download it here as you can see all these versions accepted so and um, guys i hope you enjoyed the video just comment down below if you encountered any problems during the downloads and maybe just comment down what was your problem and i can actually maybe can help you so that you guys will actually be able to do this because it's really cool really is amazing you can make really nice videos and really enjoy the mods with shader packs so i really hope you enjoyed the video and let's go one case in we're already almost at 600 so peace out everyone hope you enjoy the video just comment down below if you have any problems or if i can improve on anything so bye guys don't forget to subscribe